Belander to serve now, up 3-2. Timmy, we mentioned some of the classic matches, five Grand Slam finals here. Uh, Vlander got the best of them in those finals, won three. Oh. I always felt like Vlander was able to get Yvonne to play his style of game a little bit. I think Lendl had more weapons. Count of 20, 21. And one of the things we talk about how fit Lendl was. Delander was another guy that never got tired. He could play for eight hours if he needed to. And that's why these two, when they played each other, it was, in general, such a long, drawn-out, tough match. I think Lendl hitting much more confidently than he was early on in the match. You can see he's getting comfortable. At that point, he was ripping a couple of backhands instead of just coming under it, slicing it. And that's what he really improved in his game as his career went on was his backhand. 30-15. Started out as that, mostly just slice. And as time went on, he lost a McEnroe a couple of times. He realized he had to hit over his backhand to hit an effective passing shot, and he really mastered that shot. 40 One of the things that's so tough when you haven't played is returning serve. We've seen some struggle for Lendl on that front. Belander now backing up the Game break longer. leads 4-2. Four two. Four two. Now Lendl to serve down 4-2. We'll see if his uh, old competitive spirit can get him back in this match. There's the backhand he'd been working on throughout his career. Hit that one beautifully down the line. Do you know, Lendl, in one of his events that he promoted, one of his first events, he hired John McEnroe to do the commentating, and he told them <laughs> at that match, I always knew from the first time we met that someday you would work for me. <laughs> it's always good to get a dig in on Mac. Oh. 15 all. 144 singles titles in his career for Lendl. Lendl. Only three players in the open era had more Grand Slam titles, singles titles, than Lendl's eight. It's worth noting, Jimmy, that uh, Vlander 
really has never left the game. He's been playing on the Champions Tour. He's been a part of Davis Cup. Uh, and, of course, as we mentioned, Lendl away from the game for some 16 years. Well, he's coached some of the top players in the last couple of years as well. Belander has. 30 home. Obviously, he has the edge. And just in match play, he's played a lot of matches over the last few years. Having said that, Lendl has found a way to come back in quite a few of his service games with some big serves. from Bilana. That's something that he added to his game in 1988. The year he won three of four Grand Slams, Mats Bilander, was a slice backhand. And he, for a two-hander, he hits it as well as anyone. Now, Lendl had beaten him in the French and the Open final in 87, so Bilander obviously knew that he needed to improve something, and that was it. Yes. Game point. Talking about a great slice, and he hits a horrible one floating <laughs> well long. Maybe not as consistent as years past, but this is a big point right now. 4-2. Oh, and he went big there. Ooh, that was tight call. Second serve, game point for both in the no-ad scoring system. See if Leno can get back in this match here. He needs a break. Love the team. Good start for Leno here. Constructed point from Lendl. He was able to fight off a tough body serve. Love 30. And eventually got control with his forehand. How much what does that will to win come back, even at 50 years old? If you know Yvonne, 15, it's there. He yeah. wants to win. Yeah. When he does something, he wants to do it well. So he's going to be fighting for every point till this thing is over. He's got a little bit of a chance to break here at Anything bigger than he hit it in the 80s, a couple of these shots. That was two well ripped ground strokes. Uh, 30 40. All right, Lendl with a chance now for his first break. Gets one break back. He still has a little bit of work to do to get back in this set. Another well constructed point there. Go help from the net. Sat up for him there.
15 love now. One of the problems with running around your back end is you leave a little bit of court open. Vilander saw it, sensed it, and hit a beautiful slice down the line to set up the winner. Oh, what wow. a big ace. That wasn't an ace from power. That was placement. Wide slicing serve in the deuce court. Saw it again, oh. running around his backhand, go, leaving man. a little bit of court open. Those are the old instincts from Lendl. He liked to hit forehands. He liked to stay in that backhand corner. Vlander now point away from the match. Because of the scoring system, it's actually double match point. Even if he gets to deuce, the next point would win the game. So tough spot here for Lendl. He needs a couple of big serves. Oh, it's going for it right there. point and Lendl staves off one match point. Well, this is the third yes, time yeah. on Lendl's serve that they've played this no ad point. Vilander's always picked the ad side this time the deuce court. again and Vlander wins it 6-3 great to see Ivan Lendl back on a tennis court what was it like uh, playing Ivan again in a way I think uh, I played pretty good Ivan played great he the first thing he said after the match he said next time I'll be I will be better so what did it feel like it's been 16 years since you've been back on the court well, it was great. It was great playing again, and uh, as you can see, uh, my back is not hurting, so which is nice, and uh, uh, I enjoyed it. I would have enjoyed uh, playing a bit better more, but uh, as I said, the first, second, third time will be hard, and then it's going to get better. Would you guys want to have him back? Uh, for the commemorative at Steuben Glass Trophies, please welcome the Vice President of Marketing for Caesars Atlantic City, Aaron Chamberlain. I really While the Caesars event is just the beginning, Yvonne's time in Atlantic City has already been an inspiration. It's always nice when people appreciate you, and uh, people were really looking forward to seeing good tennis in Atlantic City. I think they were genuinely excited about it. It was fun playing with Mats and uh, brought back a lot of memories. I would like to play more matches. I had fun. The determination.